pop quiz hot shot in what year did, did US stop printing their coins in silver as far as nickels and dimes and quarters comment below before the intro other than that how hard do you think it is to find said coins well you know what I did I filtered through a lot a lot of coins and well you'd be surprised on how many of them were silver let's find out $70.80. Now it's time for the nickels. Alright, here's all the nickels. $25 and $20. So that is $45. And then these that's a dollar ninety. No, there's seventeen. It's a dollar eighty five of silver quarter or yeah, nickels. Silver. Look at that. Out of that amount, that is silver. That's a good ratio. You see what I'm saying? That's a good ratio. As far as... Look at that's not bad. For, out of $45, so technically out of 40... $48. $2 of silver. 48... Wait. So that's a 14th? 1 of them? Is that how that works? Two of forty-eight is one fourteenth. So, yeah, not bad. Okay, so I broke down the silver ones, and I realized one was Canadian. I don't know how I got that confused, but that goes to the side. All right, now we're gonna start by. The closest, the 1964s. All these are 1964. You see that? Come on, focus. Oh, really? There we go. 1964s. You see them? Then move into the left is 19. Come on. Really? Sorry, guys. 1963? Come on, why won't it focus? Okay. Then move into the Come on, I'm getting too close, maybe that's what it is. Do I need the magnifying glass? That doesn't really help, look at that, it doesn't do anything. There we go, 61. Couple 60s. 57, 54, 53, 
52. And then it jumps to 48. We got two 1948s there. Then a 46. 41. And then a couple 40s. 1940. 1941. 46, 48, 52, 53, 54. 57, 1960s, and that's a shiny, look at that, that's, that's really shiny, that bear, I thought that was a new one, in fact, I thought that was a new nickel, like 2022 type shit, 61, 62, 63s, and 64s, now, I don't know anything about, like, S and D mints, I don't, None of these have S or D's on them. Not one. Okay, but this one right here, I am really curious about. It's not a silver one. I already know that. Come on, focus on it. Come on. It's like a mist stamp or something. It is completely smooth edged. You see how like these the edges raised. This is like a mist print, mist stamp, or something. Here, hold on. Let me see if you can see it better without the light. Well, not really. It's weird, because you see the miscoloration? It looks like it's perfectly lined up for another nickel to be stamped on top of it. See what I'm saying? Like perfectly, boom. Like when they stamped it. But I don't know why I would have smooth edges. I really don't understand. It's smooth. It almost looks like there's no print on the back. I mean, there's barely anything on the middle. Barely anything. You see that? I don't know what that is. You can't read the date. The date says 21... Was that 2016 maybe? Oh. Come on, focus. Yeah, was that 2016 maybe? Come on. I can't tell. Another thing, okay, how I said that that looks like it's been stamped over, the thickness of it as well. Hold on. Sideways, the thickness. This is as if it was stamped on it, the bottom one. It's thinner on the right side than it is on the left where the nickel is overlaying it. So it's thinner, like the overlap was crushed more. Like, I don't know. It's hard to explain it. It's just weird. Like. It's hard to explain it. It's not even right there. Like, 
Yeah. I don't know. It, it is what it is. That's all the silver. That one's not silver, but I'll put that aside. Now, out of all of those, I wonder if I can find a roll of nickels from the date I was born. I found a lot of 1977s. I probably could put a whole roll of coins from the year I was born. Man, you could tell these are... Look how dirty my fingers are. You could tell that that's silver. Yeah, my fingers all dirty. Yep, anyhow. Let me know if you can tell me what, what you think about this nickel. Anybody know? So I was thinking that coin that looks like it could have been like on top of it underneath another one and like the smooth one. What if it was a coin that somebody tried to stack on a train track and smush together? Only it didn't smush, and they're like, well, screw it, I might as well spend it. And it got pat put back in the circulation. Maybe that's what that was. Because, you know, I've done that before when I was younger. I put coins on a train track and watch them flat and get smashed. Fucking pennies get bigger than silver dollars. Half dollars, even. And if you put two together, sometimes they smash together. But maybe that's what that was. But I don't think so because it didn't crush at all. I don't know. Anyhow, let me know what you think. Uh, and, uh, yep, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life. Life.